Just from the Bronx right now, Meredith Morakovic standing by with the Clubhouse Report presented by your local Ford stores. And Meredith, we mentioned a chance to make it three wins and four tries in this series, but today, like every game against the Rays so far, will be a challenge. There's just not a lot of margin of error when these two teams meet. And look, the Yankees rose to the occasion the last two games to come from behind wins, two very good wins for the Yankees. I look back to the series in Tampa Bay. What a different feel in that clubhouse right now based on the way they have played. Now, today's lineup a little bit different. You're going to see no Glaber Torres in there. Don't worry. He's completely fine. He is healthy. Just a day off for him. He's available off the bench. So with no Torres, Oswaldo Cabrera is going to play second base. And Jake Bowers is going to lead off for the Yankees today. It's going to be uh, Jose Trevino behind the plate there. Willie Calhoun DHing. Now, Jack, you already mentioned the bullpen, how they're a little shorthanded back there. Wandy Peralta came in yesterday, an epic at bat to finally get the fly ball and end it. It was his second save in as many days. But both he and Clay Holmes have pitched on back to back days. So I can't see Aaron Boone going to either of those guys today. So I asked Aaron Boone in the event that they need somebody in that ninth inning or even high leverage situations. Who is he going to go to this afternoon? The good part about it is, is I feel like we have a lot of really good options. And obviously we've used uh, Michael King, you know, carefully here early in the season um, and using him in length. So there's been more often than not, there's a lot of days that he's been down. So that factors into things. Um, but really trying to get these guys in parts of the lineup uh, where we feel like they can be most successful. And, and Clay coming in and really doing a good job yesterday. I know he gave up the, the broken bat hit f that led in the runs, but for him to get, be able to give us one plus and you know, kind of force them into some pinch hit situations so then Wandy's in a better situation against some of their lefties in that last inning, um, you know, at, at its best, those guys down there not only are really good, but also complement each other with different looks. And um, so uh, <clears throat> a lot of confidence and a lot of guys down there and, and going to keep trying to put them in the best positions to be successful, whether that's in a seventh inning, a ninth inning one day, whatever it may be. And you heard Aaron Boone talk about Wandy Peralta a little bit. He's having an unbelievable start to the season, pitching to a 176 ERA. And I asked him the other day if he likes coming in in the ninth inning in those situations. And he said there's a little added adrenaline there, but he feels like his focus is great. He looked back to last year when they were calling him everyday Wandy in the postseason. He felt like that really prepared him for a potential ninth inning role and a role that he has excelled in in the two times we have seen him here back to back saves for him on the season in this race series. As far as injuries are concerned, I did ask about Carlos Rodon. Aaron Boone said that he actually did play catch yesterday about 60 to 75 feet. A light day for him today. He'll likely play catch again tomorrow and then proceed from there. Exactly when he gets on a mound, well, there's not a date for that yet, but the fact that he's picking up a ball and throwing certainly a sign that things are moving in the right direction. And Luis Severino is expected to have his second rehab start on Tuesday. Bob, Aaron Boone was asked whether or not that will be it for Luis Severino. And I spoke to Severino, and Severino wants that to be it. He wants no part of a third rehab start, but certainly the Yankees are going to dictate exactly what the next step will be for him. First and foremost, they need him to come out of that start healthy and then decide from there whether they want to continue to build him up at the major league level or they want him to have a couple more rehab starts. But he is certainly close, which is good news for this Yankees rotation, Bob.